Hey, this is Jay from Encodian. So, continuing our series on uh, our utility actions, today we're going to look at how we can replace uh, or process text values, find values inside that text and replace it. Uh, we've got two actions that do this, one which does a straight text research and replacement and another which uses regular expressions. So we'll work through both. In the first scenario, which is the simpler version, we've got, um, we're just gonna basically pass in a text value, which is this text, text property here. We're gonna search for something contained within that text and then we're gonna replace it with another value. So I've just got the trigger action configured to do this, nice and simple. So what I'm gonna do first off is I'm gonna go and find the encoding connector. It would help if I spelt it correctly. And I'll just click see more. And if you scroll to the bottom, all of the utility actions are prefixed with utility hyphen, so they're quite easy to find. And I'm looking for these two actions here, replace value with re regex and replace value with text. So we're gonna start with this one, replace value with text. So nice and simple, text value I'm gonna process and choose from the trigger action, text. The, sec, uh, the text value I'm going to search for, which I've called search for, and the replacement value, which I've called replace with. Uh, I've got one advanced parameter called trim result, which just basically decides whether I'm going to remove white space from the start and end of the text value that comes out the back of the action or the process value. Um, I'm just going to do something simple uh, with the result coming from the encoding action. I'm going to send an email. So let's just do that. Send email, send me an email notification. Uh, let's just call this text replacement utility processed, sorry, bear with me, process value. Okay, and we just simply need to select the result value coming from the encoding action and that will give us the processed value. So now, all I need to do is save and run this flow. And we'll run that. And we're gonna pass some values in. So I've got an example text value that I wanna process. I'm gonna pass that in there and you'll notice it's got some, um, some email addresses contained within it. I'm gonna say search for Encodian and replace it with Microsoft. So we should uh, have a, a resulting text value of hello at, at Microsoft.com and support at Microsoft.com. So we can run this through. So we can see that that's run successfully and I should be able to jump over and pick up the email. So here is the email and you can see that we've got the updated values as we were expecting support at Microsoft.com and hello at Microsoft.com. Now, what if I wanted to take the same string and actually I wanted to replace, say, the email addresses with another value, for example, redacted? We can't easily do that with this particular action because it's explicitly looking for a string and then replacing it with a string. So that's where we would use uh, the regular expression variation of the utility actions. So we can quite easily up or adapt the current flow to do this. Rather than having search for, I'm going to call it regex and we can leave the rest in the same. I'm going to remove this action and then I'm going to add the same, well not the same, we're going to add the regex variation of this action, so down to the bottom and we're looking for replace value with regex and pretty straightforward as before, we can select the text value coming from the trigger action, we're going to select the regex value this time for the regex and we're going to select, you've got here the, the replacement text is actually optional so if I ran this what would actually happen? is any tech or any values that match the regex would actually be removed uh, rather than replace it. Effectively, it's been replaced with a blank value. We are, however, going to pop a value in, so we'll use replace the replace with value. Um, last thing I need to, need to do is just update this trigger because it's currently got the result from the old, the old encoding action, so we just need to select the one coming from the action we've just added to the flow. And now we should be able to save and run this same of this updated flow, if you would, um, with similar values. So let's just do manual test. And let's select our values. So we've got the same text value that I want to process. This time we're going to pop in a regular expression. 
and this is just a basic email um, regular expression and I'm going to say replaced with redacted and we can run this flow and we can check the result in the email that's going to come through and here we go so we can see in this example both of the email addresses within that uh, text value have been replaced with the value of redacted um, as ever, uh, if you have any questions, queries uh, regarding how to work with the utility actions or any other encoding actions, um, please visit the support portal, which is support.encoding.com. Um, or, of course, you can email us at support.encoding.com and the team would be delighted to help.